I don't really play a lot of shoot 'em ups or scrolling shooters or shmups specifically is what they are also called. I just never really fully got into them. They just aren't really my thing. However, the last time I played any shoot 'em up was probably Geometry Wars back in I think the Xbox 360. Whenever I come across any newer shmup, I do have a bit of an urge to try it out. I kind of still don't have an interest, but I wanted to try out a newer shmup at the very least. See what's changed. Zero Ranger is a vertically scrolling shoot 'em up. Now, this game does have a decent story. The game takes place on an Earth like planet called Daycon. Aliens known as Green Orange have invaded Daycon with the intent of killing all life on the planet. The aliens have taken control of Daycon's planetary defense force, except for two fighters, which is actually the two fighters you get to choose from. The remaining fighters must fight their way through stages and destroy the main green-orange vessels. You can play this game with up to two players. When playing this, I highly recommend playing with the controller. That way you have more control of your fighter. Not saying keyboard is unplayable, I was able to play keyboard just fine but controller just gives you better control. Considering you're going to be dodging a lot of attacks, enemies in this game are really aggressive, the walls can't kill you, and each stage you're going to face off against a boss at the end. After you beat a boss, you get to choose an upgrade. Further stages and bosses do get harder. There are in-game lives or hits that you can earn. However, earning lives in-game seems to be different in each mode. Now, at the start, there's two modes, vanilla, and green orange. What's the difference? In vanilla they just drop in, but in the orange mode lives are earned by how much score you earn. So in the orange mode it is score based, but once all lives are lost, you get a continue screen. And again, depending on the mode, you have another set of continue lives as well. Thankfully you can continue where you left off. You do also have a stage select option, and because you have a stage select option, you're not starting completely all over. Later in the game, you unlock this mecha form, where you wield this sword, which is kinda cool. You can transform into this mode whenever you want. And I think the best part about this game is the soundtrack. Like, the soundtrack here slaps. You know, this game's central theme is enlightenment, and I think this game's music delivers on enlightening you to beat it. I never fully played a single shmup game. Most of the time I would only play them for less than 30 minutes, and then that's it. But this is the first shmup game that I've played for more than 30 minutes. I've played this game for about 3 plus hours. It's the first shmup game that I've fully played. It's an easy to learn game, but difficult to master. The story is pretty good. The soundtrack is amazing. For my first shmup game, I gotta say, Zero Ranger was a great experience. And I'm kinda glad I decided to give this genre like a second chance. And I'm kinda glad I played it.